I look down the street and I see this building fall down right in front of my eyes and I was like, what, 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 what? I left my job at the World Trade Center nine months before that day. The awakening that can happen in the wake of something like 9-11 can encourage us to want to do something more positive with our lives. It opened in me a prayer to be able to be of service to life, to be a part of a different story for humanity. As we shift our own energy as an individual, we can have a radical impact on the world. Every single moment of life, I feel more and more now, is an opportunity to be of service, to express love, to be light, to extend the hand. Altruism is love. It's the expression of love for no other reason than to give that. And as people give of themselves for the good of others, that is profoundly transformational. My prayer to serve was answered when I felt the calling to become a chiropractor. In 2012, I joined forces with two powerful chiropractors. We wanted to know what would happen when we combined chiropractic service with unconditional love. Today we share love, give love, serve love, in a sense of our own abundance. No expectation of return. We unite with this universal intelligence to flow through us in the vibration of love and healing and strong, vibrant, life-flowing expression. The chiropractor is locating a subluxation, a distortion of the spinal structures causing a lock in the central nervous system. So when we make an adjustment, there's an expression of light through matter over the nerve system to the level of the tissue cell. And now we have motion and we have life again. When you put that force with the right intent into somebody's spine and releasing that power within them, that expression of love between you and them, that's what a true love bomb is. The love bomb explodes and nothing is the same. You know, we can get all the testimonials in the world, but when you adjust someone, they leave and they come back with their mom and their child. <laughs> that's the testimony. We know they got something and they want to share it with their family. This was just the most unbelievable thing. The classroom after classroom after classroom after classroom after classroom of kids. We just adjusted like 300 kids. This is like after you've been surfing for a while, you just kind of feel like you're pure ocean. You're there to surf. You go in the morning, you're prepared mentally. By the end of the day, you feel like you've climbed Mount Everest. Physically, you feel like that, but emotionally, how rewarding is that to be able to get to the top? I now know that every day we have the opportunity to choose what we will bring to life. We can be driven by love just as much as we can be driven by pain or fear. The interesting thing is that fear is what causes human beings to be at their worst, and love is what causes human beings to be at their best. I find it a continual journey to keep choosing love. Love is inside of everybody. You just have to let it out. I'd say, well, love is what you are. Love is essentially what I am. Um, but we forget. And you can't be one with your heart and not feel this enormous love that comes out. I mean, love for everything. My heart is so open right now. I'm blown away right now. It's so awesome, my life is amazing. <laughs> I'm a changed person. I can't, you can't go back to like normal living after doing something like this. If I think about a love bomb, I think about it as something that can break us open and sprinkle down on us an invitation to be our best and highest people. A bomb goes and impacts what's around it in a devastating way, but a love bomb is something that impacts everything around it in a way that's loving and uplifting. And I figured out that there's a reason why these two words are being put together that we have got to start paying attention to how we explode. To take an image like a bomb, which is, a, you know, its capacity is for destruction, and to rewire it for love, I guess that's what we're doing with ourselves. I can't be dropping anything but love bombs everywhere I go. It's, it's inappropriate to do anything less.
love, if I give my love bomb, if I give my love gift. I'm only one person, but we never know how that love will go out and touch someone. Love is essentially self-communicative. Those who do not have it, catch it from those who have it. Intentions and the ability to focus changes the world in various ways. It's just this chain reaction that is pretty amazing, and if everyone could do one little thing every day, this world would be a different place. I think we can create a new epidemic that is good. It's goodness. If we were all committed to loving, like radically committed to loving, we would change, the world would be just completely different. The world would shift.